What's up guys, welcome back to the workshop. In this episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to sharpen all your tools. I'm talking about your garden tools, your shovels, things like that. We're gonna be throwing some sparks around and having some fun with the Ken Onion Knife and Tool Sharpener Mark II in its original form. And I'm also gonna show you how to sharpen those tools, those same tools on the blade grinding attachment as well. Before we do dive in, safety first. I wanna go over a couple things. We're gonna be using these machines in a variety of ways, some weird positions, and we're gonna be throwing sparks, like I said, on a lot of different directions. So you're gonna to wanna to wear some safety goggles whenever you're sharpening tools with this machine. Also, be aware of what you're wearing. You don't wanna loose clothing because again, those belts are moving. We don't want anything getting caught in there. Before we get started sharpening, we wanna get our machine set up to sharpen a variety of tools. For this, we're gonna to have a different approach. Most of the time when you're sharpening tools, you're gonna to want a higher speed. So we're gonna set the speed up near six or seven. We're gonna have our coarse belt installed for a lot of these, although there will be some nuance and we'll go over those for specific tools. But for the most part, we wanna have our coarse belt installed in a high speed. On the original knife and tool sharpener, we're gonna also gonna to wanna to remove the guide. So, but to do that, we're just gonna pull down firmly and pull up, remove the guide. And for most cases, we're gonna rotate that cassette forward so that we can bring the grinder to the tool. When it comes to sharpening tools that you use in the yard, like loppers or shears, it is possible to bring the sharpener to the tool and do the sharpening. But if possible, we always recommend using a vise to hold the tool. It makes it more accurate when it comes to grinding and you get better results. Getting started with these shears, I've got them mounted up in the vise and now I'm gonna bring the sharpener to the tool. For this, you're just gonna want to match the angle of the existing bevel with the belt. Lay the belt gently on the shears. Don't push too hard. Start the machine at one end and work your way to the other. Be sure to use a consistent back and forth pattern and don't push too hard. Let the abrasive do the work. Soon you'll recreate that edge. Then you're ready to do the opposite side. After you're done grinding, be sure to give your shears a few snips. That'll remove any leftover burr and leave you with a sharp edge. A few tips to remember as you're grinding with the handheld sharpener. Light pressure, don't push too hard. That belt wants to wrap around the edge. We don't wanna to wrap too much around that edge. It'll actually end up making it dull. So light pressure, be consistent. You'll be left with nice sharp shears. Now let's show you how to sharpen these on the blade grinding attachment with the Elite package. With some tools, it may be easier to disassemble in order to reach that edge. Since I'm using the blade grinding attachment, I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble these and sharpen them that way. Be sure to throw your nuts on the ground. So it's a fun little game you can play with yourself later of trying to find them. Now that I've got these shears broken down, all I need to do is present the edge to the belt. But I wanna make sure a couple things are set up on the machine first. I'm trying to achieve as flat a grind as I can on this edge. So I want my pulley in the furthest forward position for a flat grind. I'm also gonna to wanna to remove some material quickly. So I've got my speed set to six. With that set up, all I need to do is make sure like with any knife, I present the edge to the belt and make consistent movements across. So I get a nice keen edge. After you've done one side, just do the other. There's a fair bit of carbon in these loppers, which explains all the sparks, but I've created a nice keen edge on these. I'm gonna get them reassembled. We'll give it a few lops to knock that leftover, leftover burr, and these are ready to hit the yard. When it comes to sharpening loppers, you're only gonna actually sharpen one side of the tool. The other side is just a bypass that doesn't need to be sharpened. So. Uh, I find it easiest to break these down and that way I only have to worry about the one side to sharpen. I'm gonna get it in the vise and let's show you how to sharpen it. All right, now that I got this mounted up in the vise, it's really simple to approach the edge. I'm just gonna match the existing bevel, make a few passes until I form a burr and we're all set. Let's get to it. Once you can feel a small burr all the way across the edge, you've removed enough material, you're ready to reassemble and use your loppers. Just like the shears, you're gonna be left with that burr. So once you get your loppers reassembled, give them a few snips and that'll remove the leftover burr and you're good to go. Let's jump over and show you how to sharpen these loppers on the blade grinding attachment. 
In most cases, you can probably still sharpen in between these two pulleys like we would on any other tool. However, these loppers have a kind of a unique geometry and I'm actually gonna use the front platen. It's a cool new feature we have on this and I'm gonna show you how to use it. Using the front platen can sometimes involve a little bit of extra setup. As you can see, I'm obviously on the opposite side of the machine and I'm gonna want to make sure I, I match the existing bevel on these loppers. So I'm gonna lay it up against that plate and make sure I've got it even. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure as you make that pass across the edge, you've got room for the handle. It's gonna end up going down below the edge of the table. So I've got room for that to go all the way down. At this point, all I need to do is start grinding and put that new edge on. After you've got your loppers put back together, give them a few snips to remove that burr and you're good to go. If you're wondering how to sharpen these handheld uh, loppers or bypass shears, it's the same approach. You can remove the one side and sharpen the edge, reassemble, you're good to go. Next, let's sharpen a lawnmower blade. These are pretty straightforward. We're just trying to match the existing bevel. So I'm gonna get this mounted up in a vise and show you how to do it with the handheld tool and then we'll jump over to the blade grinding attachment. Let's dive in. I've got the P120 coarse grit belt on here with a speed of six, and I'm just gonna make smooth, even passes until I create a new edge. Once you're done grinding, you should be able to feel a burr all the way along the edge of the blade. That tells you you've reached a new apex and your blade is sharp. There's no need to remove that burr. Just throw the lawnmower blade back on your lawnmower and get to work. When it comes to sharpening the lawnmower blade on the blade grinding attachment, it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna try and match that existing bevel. I've got this one queued up. It's about a 25 degree angle, it looks like. Then my job is just the same as any other blade. Be consistent and smooth as I make a pass from heel to tip. All right, we're gonna get the machine fired up here in a continuous run. I've got the P120 coarse grit belt installed along with my speed set at six. Again, we're just trying to make smooth, even passes here. Again, you're only going to need to sharpen the beveled side. You can leave that burr on there, throw your lawnmower blade back on, and get back to work. Next, let's show you how to tackle a shovel. Some shovels are utility purposes and need a little bit of a sharp edge. Some shovels are just your straightforward shovels. We'll approach them both the same way. All right, now that I've got my shovel mounted up, I'm just going to try and create a new crisp edge. Obviously, we don't need shovels to be super sharp, but we do want a clean edge on them. So I'm gonna match the existing bevel and make a few smooth passes. I've got my P120 coarse grid on and a speed set at six. Notice how I just make smooth passes. This isn't gonna take a lot of time. We're just freshening up the edge. Jumping over to the blade grinding attachment, we're gonna approach this similarly to any other edge tool. We're gonna to match the existing bevel, make smooth even passes. All right, as we get started grinding here, I'll set this in continuous run. I've got the P120 coarse grip belt and a speed set at six. Next, let's sharpen an ax. I'm gonna get it mounted up in my vise here and we'll bring the Ken Onion handheld to the ax. Now that I've got my ax mounted up here in the vise, I'm gonna bring the sharpener to the ax edge. Be sure to match the existing bevel on one side, make a few passes until you form a burr, then flip the ax over and make the same amount of passes on the opposite side. Now that we've sharpened with the handheld, let's show you how to sharpen the ax with the blade grinding attachment. A couple nuances here you wanna pay attention to. I've got my pulley set to the third position for extra convex. Axes tend to wanna to do a lot of chopping, so a nice big convex on the edge, is actually really helpful when it comes to that. So I've got my pulley set at three, I've got my speed set at six and I've got the P120 coarse grip belt on the machine. All right, with the machine in continuous run, we're gonna approach this the same way we would any knife. We're gonna sharpen one side, keeping the ax as level as possible. I've got this set out to a 30 degree angle. I'm gonna make passes on one side until I have a burr and then repeat that process on the opposite side. Next, we're gonna to touch up this Maddox. This is a tool used for chopping into roots and things like that. So it does end up with some chips on it. It doesn't necessarily need to be really sharp, but you do want a nice clean edge and that's what we're gonna put back on it. We've got the Maddox mounted up in the vise here so we can bring the sharpener to the tool. 
This edge here is pretty banged up, so it's gonna take quite a bit of material removal. I've got that P120 coarse grip belt that should make short work of it. My speed's set up at six. Maybe we'll crank it up to seven, depending on how this goes. All right, that's how you'd sharpen using the handheld. And we've got a nice edge on this, but you'll notice there's still some chips in it. I could grind more if I wanted to, but this is perfectly fine to cut through roots and the things that it's intended to do. So I'm not gonna take any more material off than I need to. Now let's show you how to approach this using the blade grinding attachment on the Ken Onion. When it comes to sharpening a tool this large on the blade grinding attachment, you're gonna wanna try and find a way to brace it against yourself. The larger the tool, the more unruly they get when it comes to using this system and you probably are gonna to wanna to lean towards the handheld, but it can still be done. Let's show you how to do it. All right, I've got a similar setup on the blade grinding attachment, my P120 grip belt, speed set at six. I'm gonna set my angle at 30 degrees and make smooth even passes just like I did on the ax. As we were digging around trying to find tools, we came across this scraper. It seemed like a great example of something to sharpen, similar to a shovel, but we'll show you how to do it anyhow. We've got the scraper mounted up in the vise. I've got the 120 grit belt and a speed set at six. Again, I'm just gonna find that existing bevel, match it up and make passes to create a new clean edge. Once I've created that new smooth edge, I'm gonna call it good. This isn't supposed to be a sharp tool. I just want the edge to be clean so it glides smoothly across the floor. This floor scraper and most tools with large handles on them are a great example of where having a handheld has its advantages. If you do wanna sharpen on the blade grinding attachment, it can be done, but with that being said, you might be better off just using the handheld. With that said, let's get to it. This is a good example of a tool that just takes some finagling. I'm pretty sure I wanna try and have a flat grind on here so it can scrape smoothly. So I've set my pulley to the forward position. I've got the P120 grit belt on to remove that material. And I'm just gonna make smooth even passes and we'll see how she comes out. Next up, we've got this five in one painter's tool, similar to like a putty knife. Doesn't necessarily need to be a sharp edge, but a clean edge is appreciated. Let's put one on it. All right, with the tool mounted up here, I'm gonna bring the grinder to the tool as always. This is a pretty thin metal on this though, so I'm gonna use a little lower speed. I'm gonna set it at five, make a few passes. This should clean up pretty quick. Now that I've got that edge cleaned up, I'm also gonna hit that curved edge as well. One of the advantages these flexible belts give you is to be able to follow the curvature of those edges. Let's get that while we're here. To touch up this five-in-one scraper on the BGA, I'm gonna try and use a flat grind. So I've got that pulley set to the front uh, position. I've also got the edge set at 25 degrees. I kind of eyeballed it, but again, we're not looking for perfection here. We're just looking to clean this edge up. Got my speed set at five and I'm using the P120 grip belt. I'm just gonna make smooth even passes here. I've got the pulley set to the forward position because I believe this is more of a flat grind on here and I'm just gonna take my time. Again, not trying to get this sharp, just get a new edge on it so it's usable. Let's sharpen some scissors. Scissors are pretty straightforward. There's actually a scissor guide on the Ken Onion Mark II located right here. You remove your original guide, and this right here is the guide for scissors. Scissors only have one bevel, so you're gonna lay the scissor flat on the guide in contact with the belt. Power the machine on and pull the scissors across the belt using gentle pressure all the way to the tip. And that's how you sharpen scissors using the cassette. I actually don't recommend jumping over to the blade grinding attachment. You can sharpen scissors on it, but this guide makes it so simple. It's the easiest way to put an edge back on scissors. And just like the shears, scissors are actually self honing. So after you've put an edge on the scissors, give them a few snips, it'll hone them and you'll be good to go. That's gonna do it for sharpening tools with the Ken Onion Mark II, both the original and the elite version. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, maybe hit a like and a subscribe. It really helps us out. Appreciate you watching. Catch you on the next one.